Alright folks, Post here, fresh off the battlefield against Sigmund and Alyssa. And, uh, so we got a new dev letter, and let's check it out. I haven't read it yet, but, uh, uh, I wasn't really expecting this one. I can't remember when they mentioned the date was going to be. But I don't know, I lost track. But anyways, let's get in this dev letter. Let's see uh, what's in here. Message from the Poem Master's Developer Team, Volume 11. Where are we already on Volume 11? Wow. Greetings, trainers. We're the producers of Poem Masters, Yusasuke and Tetsuya Gucci, here with a new message for you. Today we'll discuss how we're expanding the game's content as we approach our first anniversary and celebrate the uh, this exciting milestone with fans. We'll also tell you about our plans to make Sinkers even more exciting as well as how we're improving existing features. Uh, we'd like to thank all of you for sharing feedback on the new features mentioned in our last message, including responses to a survey made available in May. Okay. Discussion topics. In this message will discuss following new content updates to make Sinkers um, more exciting, approach our approach to improving existing features. Okay, new content and updates to make sync pairs more exciting. We appreciate the feedback we've received regarding sync pairs. We, we, plan to, uh, we plan to improve them in the following ways. Streamline sync pair training. We're currently developing new ways to strengthen sync pairs. We plan to release these around the first anniversary of the game, so we hope so we hope you are looking forward to it. Is that like Samus or something? I don't know. Um, or, or is it like just new ways to, to improve them? Sinkers and seasonal sync pairs. One of the fans' most frequent requests is to see more new sync pairs, as well as ex existing sync pairs in both signature suits and special seasonal outfits. Yes, many sync pairs that haven't debuted yet are on their way. We are working to ensure that sync pairs in signature suits and seasonal outfits will appear more frequently than before. Cool, I'll take that. Although I, I personally would prefer like just to get like the ones that aren't in the game in the game yet, right? Stuff like losing mean. Uh, you know, and, uh, who else, Lily, I'll, I, I would prefer to have the ones that aren't in the game yet, in, in, in the game first, before we expand upon a lot of the, uh, things and things all the same first. May, please, May, can we get May, Lucy, but yeah, uh, well, sure, I, I'm fine with that. <laughs> we'll be introducing new seasonal exclusive sync pairs in our next message. Oh, really? So stay tuned. Summer? Sunsuits? <laughs> Oh my god. Battling Champions. Oh, this is cool! As previously discussed, we are introducing a new battle feature that will allow players to face off against Elite Four members and champions. With this feature, we're hoping to cre recreate the same challenging thrills that trainers experience when challenging. Damn! When, when, when battling in the Pokemon League against uh, in Pokemon RPGs, you can enter these battles with multiple sync pairs, but winning will require strategy that is different from the approach used in other battles. More details will come in the future. Oh, this looks very, very interesting, man. This looks super fun. Alright. Oh, let's see. Use physical attacks. Uh, moves against opponents with low defense. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, just, just make these, a lot of these mean more. Because, like, a lot of the times, like, some of these units, like, you know, the ultra hard, um, you know, the training court. Or, or, let's say, yeah, the ultra hard training course. The, uh, the opponent is. Elite Four member Glacia, and then like boom, you just click auto, and then you beat the stage. Like she's nothing, right? Uh, with a bunch of potato sink pairs that you're trying to level up. <laughs> so um, instead of you know making them as as meaningless as they are, uh, give them um, some actually purpose, and and um, you know just make make them feel. I want these. I want these. I don't want the champions feel like champions. The Elite Fours to feel like Elite Fours. So actually make them challenging battle. And not a bit of a meme. So, moving on. Egg events. Uh, events based on Pokemon eggs are coming in July. Each Pokemon you can get from these events will be different, as each one's role and number of past skills it has will be random. Oh! Oh, okay! Huh. Interesting. There'll also be a very rare chance that a SHINY Pokemon will hatch! So we encourage all trainers to find, try and find their favorite Pokemon. In addition to developing these features, we're also working on expanding existing content and preparing new events. This is a new, there is a new legendary, yes, 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 new legendary event, finally. Um, I would love a request of Rewind, but I'd much more prefer we get a new legendary event, right? New legendary event coming, that's nice, um, in July, so that's next month. Next month, we're getting a new legendary event. We're getting the expansion of the egg feature, right, with sh sh I, 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 honestly, I knew, like, I thought about shiny Pokemon, right? I thought they would eventually come into the game. Um, but I didn't know they were gonna, shiny Pokemon are gonna come to the game like this soon. 
But yeah, we're getting shiny Pokemon, which is Poggers. Uh, I know a lot of you guys love shiny Pokemon, right? Um, so, shiny Pokemon are coming. That's great. They did mention, like, the Pokemon that you get from these events will be different. Like, so I guess it would be, like, different rules for, like, the same Pokemon and different uh, passives and abilities and stuff. Like that That is kind of RNG-ish. Not a huge fan, personally. Um, it depends on, on how much RNG there is, right? Um, and hopefully in the future, like, you could, like, change them up. Yeah, there's, like, items to change your moves, passes. If you, like, just get, like, a bad one, like, you could re-roll them, hopefully. Um, so that's cool. Uh, approach to improve existing features. In May survey, we collected feedback on our three planned improvements to existing features. Reduce time spent battling for items. These are identifications of battles that reward items. A changed number of playable battles per day. Survey responses indicate that many players want to obtain items more efficiently, even if the number of... Really? That's... What? Is that really what this... Maybe I'm in my own bubble. Maybe I'm in my own bubble, but I really, I personally don't want uh, to have battles limited. I don't want to, you know, I'm, I'm not a fan of stamina system, but I mean, if this is what y'all wanted, I, 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 I guess, sure, but I, really? Is that really what, I don't know. Again, maybe I'm just in my own bubble, and, 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 and you know, I can understand, you know, I already have, most of my sync pairs already maxed out on all that stuff, so maybe, maybe my perspective is is a, di a lot different from other folks, and maybe what folks do want is, is you know just you know not have to you know spend hours. And I understand that uh, point as well. You know, I, I do understand that it's really really boring grinding for these level up items and stuff. But implementing a stamina system, I don't know. I, it, wouldn't it just be better just to like increase the wards just o across the board instead of like having them like limited as well? Anyways, based on this feedback, we'll be launching a new stamina system on trial basis to solicit additional player input that will help us create the best possible experience. Why we're revisiting the current system? With the current system, you can obtain a set number of items based on the time you spend playing, and any time you are not actively repeating a battle, you may miss out on the opportunity to obtain more items. That's true, right? I mean, that's just a fact. <laughs> that's just how time works. That's just how time works. <laughs> With the system, you'll instead receive a much higher number of items in a short time, and the time you save will go towards recharging your stamina. Ultimately, we hope to reduce the time spent uh, repeating the same battles and provide a more balanced gameplay experience for everyone. To give, a, to give you an idea of what to expect, there's a detailed explanation of this new system. Where stamina is applicable, stamina will be consumed each time you will battle in the following areas. The consumed stamina will cover over time. Main story, single player only. Um, level up area, cap lock area, sync orb area. Evolution material area, some events. Sync orb area. If we're getting like a specific, if we're getting like a specific area just for sync orbs and that costs stamina to get, that might actually not be too bad. Like. If you get to choose where you want to spend your stamina, and like if you're already like good with all the like level cap stuff and all that, which by the way, if this is coming, everyone farm level items now before it's too late. <laughs> or who knows? I, like they probably, I you know again we don't know how much um, uh, of an increase they're, we're, we're getting out of these items or, or the, these new drops, but like. Yeah, if the Syncor is that that's good. That's good. I'll take that. That's that's a W. I mean, if this is going to be what it is, then I'll, I'll take my wins where I can. That's that's a W. Um, no new limits will be imposed on the Legendary Arena. Um, battle Villa Co-op battles in general, EX Challenge, Battle Villa or Main Story, or certain other event battles. You can continue to place those battles as much as you want. Because the new system will impact game balance. I'm not a huge fan of the event restricting either. Like, because, like, the thing with, like, restricting attempts on, like, events, they're already time-gated, right? There are they're already like a limited you know time event thing and then like you put it like a stamina restriction on that I don't know I don't think that's a good idea um, because this new system will impact game balance we're launching it on a trial basis during which we'll be listening to your feedback and making improvements along the way even reverting back to the current system if needed okay okay you know what we'll take it we'll see what it is we'll, we'll, we'll see you know we'll try it out 
and we'll get feedback and and if it's actually as good as they say it is then I'm fine with it like my main like my main thing against like the stamina system is like not how well it would improve the gameplay experience uh, in terms of grinding out sync pairs like that's sure it, it, it'll sure it'll improve your your grinding experience right like it, like hey I, I like as much as I like the current system I I don't like I don't, I'm I understand folks don't like grinding the same stage over and over and over again for some level up manuals I don't like it either right uh, but again, we'll, we'll, we'll have them do their trial thing, and then we'll, we'll test it out. If it's good, then sure. You know, it is what it is, we can keep it, but if it isn't, then we'll let them know as well, right? But like, again, my main thing with this is, like, new players will see this, and they might just turn away from the game, because a lot of people don't like stamina systems. Like, stamina system just has, like, a bad name in general, right? So... Uh, folks who don't know the game, even even if the stamina system turns out to be very very beneficial for players, new players who are trying to you know get into the game, uh, they they wouldn't know. They'd just see stamina system and say, oh, it's not another one of those games, and they'll just you know they'll just turn away from the game, right? That's my only worry there, I guess. Or well, not only, but that's my biggest worry there. But anyways, moving on. Um, regardless, we're working hard to ensure the final result is enjoyable for our players, and we look forward to hearing from you. Reduce time spent battling for items and easier identifications of battles that rewards. The current training area will be renamed the EX Plaza. The battles found in courses and super courses will be redesigned as a part of a brand new training area. Simplifies the process of the collecting the items you want. We'll make it so it's e e uh, so you can easily tell which items are obtainable from which arenas. Level up arena, cap lock arena, Syncorp uh, arena, and evolution material arena. We'll explain these new areas using the Syncorp. Like, I mean, evolution material area is nice because, like, we used to have like a limited amount of of evolution materials we could like get per month, right? And this, you know, this we could actually grind for. It. Although it's like technically still limited because of the stamina system. Well, I guess if you if they like make it so that like you spend gems to like refresh your stamina, I, I guess then it's not. Yeah, it's unlimited. But anyways, I digress. Moving on. Um, after completing a battle with the Syncorp uh, area, you'll obtain co-op Syncorps. Based on the battle difficulty, there will be a maximum of 10 attempts per day on in the Syncorp area. Up to 90 items will be... Okay, so they do. They still cap the Syncorp arena. 900 Syncorps per day is much better than the one that we have right now, right? Um, which is what, 450? That's twice the amount. Um, sure, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Um, I'll, I'll take, I'll take 900 sync orbs per day over 40, you know, 450, I guess, I don't know. Uh, this feature is currently in development, certain details may change prior to launch, stay tuned for future updates. You may recall that we previously announced there would be a new way to obtain sync orbs for specific sync pairs, however we decided to only make co-op sync orbs attainable from the sync orb area to let you choose which sync pairs you want to power up. Um, I guess that makes sense, that's pro uh, that's honestly better, like, um, making you have to like force use that sync bear to grind like a state over and over again. That's, that's not the best way right? uh, You'll still be able to obtain co-op sync cord from various events and other areas as well Okay, our next message which is scheduled for late July will go over our plans for future updates and the anniversary celebration in more detail We'll we're always working hard to deliver updates and improvements to make the world upon us as fun as possible we'll Prioritize trainers feedback through out the development process. Don't uh, so don't hesitate to let us know what you think until next time Thank you for playing Ma upon my masters uh, you Sasuke and Tetsu Gucci. Um, some good things, some bad things. And now, you know, here's the thing: like the sound system is not. It's like it's not a black and white thing, right? It's not like all good or all bad. Obviously, there's upsides and downsides. Upsides is probably for a lot of players who don't play as much, who don't grind, uh, you know, aren't you know, don't have that much time to play the game. Um, obviously, it's much easier for them to get uh, a lot of these items, which is nice. Um, downside, however, is you get your battles limited. <laughs> <laughs> for those who really want to grind this, who do have the time and, and energy to spend grinding all this, who would, I would guess, theoretically get more than whatever they're limiting it to, that's obviously not good for them. Uh, obviously, better for the ones who, you know, it, again, upsides, downsides. Um, another upside, look at me being so generous to them. Another upside of this is, is obviously, you know, you don't have to, like, just grinding in a stage over and over again, like, sure, you can you know, sort of control how many, um, uh, rewards or, or items you get, right? A downside is, is, like, you, uh, it's, you know, you, uh, the, uh, a downside is, is it gets really, really boring, right? Um, I don't think, I know anyone who thinks it's riding this thing is actually fun. It's, it's not, right? 
And, you know, I'm a huge gardener myself. It's not fun. <laughs> but, I don't know. Like, I just don't think, like, is level up, is level cap, like, is that... And, and it could be just me out of touch, right? But is that, like, really that big of a deal? Is it, like, really that hard? With all these events that we just keep on getting, like, over and over, like, all these rewards that keeps on, like, pouring out. I don't know, man. Anyways, um, on to the good stuff. Uh, shiny Pokemon, that's Poggers. Um, the egg expansion, can't wait for that. Um, new Legendary event coming, cannot wait for that either. Hopefully this time they'll give us 5 out of 5, 20 out of 20. Um, like, honestly, I'll, I'll take... Like, ho -Oh is... Ho -Oh is, it, like, insanely good, right? Um, even without 5 out of 5, 20 out of 20. But I'd take, like, a not-as-good unit. You know, it's like, just something like... Like a Solgaleo level legendary unit, uh, if that means we can 5 out of 5, 20 out of 20. That means it just makes it more fun. It just makes the whole thing more fun, right? Um, Battling Champion, this looks very, very, very exciting. Um, right? We're, we are getting some hard, uh, or relatively hard, um, modes in this, you know, uh, I, I guess, ba uh, battles in this game, right? Got the Battle Villa, the Legendary Arena is coming out. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, hopefully it's fun. And then we're getting potentially getting that as well. Seasonal sing, uh, sink pairs, sing the suits. Summers, we're already in summer. DNA, you know what to do, <laughs> right? And uh, yeah, anyways, well that's me. Those are I guess. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry for like the rant that I went on. It's just me, I, I guess. Uh, if you guys have a different opinion, that's totally fine. I 100 respect that. Like this is this is just completely just personal preference, right? There's no right or wrong, or whatever, right? But yeah, anyways, again, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Like, enjoy this video, subscribe to the channel for some more Pokemon Masters content. I will be checking out the, uh, the, ooh, that looks cool, the Legendary Arena. Um, so I'll upload that as soon as I, uh, as, as I get to that. So stay tuned for that as well, and I'll see you guys, uh, in the next one.